welcome everyone who came here tonight. We are so fortunate to have Mr. John M. LaForge, who is part of Nuke Watch, and I encourage all of you to join Nuke Watch. Uh, thanks very much, Cecile, and thanks everybody for coming out tonight. I want to make a short announcement before I launch into my uh, talk on the book. I'm uh, accompanied on this tour with my friend Marion Kupker from Germany, who's uh, part of an international campaign to permanently remove U.S. nuclear weapons from Germany. Uh, most U.S. citizens don't even know that the U.S. is the only country in the world that deploys its nuclear weapons in other states. We have about 180 so-called B-61 gravity bombs in five NATO partners in Europe, Italy, Turkey, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany. And uh, the Europeans want them out of there, Germany in particular, and uh, Marion and her group have fought for 20 years to have them removed from the Buschel Air Force Base where German fighter pilots train on their tornado jets to deliver these nuclear weapons upon the order of U.S. President and the NATO command. And now with these the saber rattling and the craziness going on in Syria between the U.S. and Russia, these weapons are more destabilizing and dangerous than ever. There's between 50 and 90 at the Incirlik Air Base in Turkey, which you may recall was the headquarters of the failed coup back in July. The entire chain of command at that base has been placed under arrest and U.S. has 50, at least 50 of these Cold War era gravity bombs there. 20 in Germany, maybe 80 in Italy. They're spread around. Well, they need to come home. Marion has a declaration of solidarity with the German movement to get those weapons returned. So please uh, take the time to sign this declaration of solidarity before you leave tonight. What, uh, what do you think the... Uh state of a nuclear arms race is going to be Russia seems Russia seems to be uh, deploying more missiles well, Marion huh. yeah. I mean I want to point out that in the German peace movement um, we see Syria as a sovereign uh, sovereign country and Russia is invited to be there I'm still against all bombings even though if it's against the I IS I also see you know bombings always cause uh, so-called collateral damage, and this is the citizens. But uh, all the other um, yeah, NATO allies who are bombing there, they are not invited. So that shows what really makes the problem in this region, and it's about to overthrow a country, you know, to get more people under control. And the same is, um, for example... There was a promise when we had the unification in, in Germany in 1990 that uh, when Russia took their arms away out of former Eastern Germany, their nuclear weapons and so on, there was this promise that NATO wouldn't go closer to Russia. They wouldn't go into Eastern European countries, mm -hmm. but they did. They moved 1,000 kilometers uh, forward, and, and when... We see all the NATO uh, exercises they are mm -hmm. doing. Um, and we just had in uh, June, when the NATO summit took place in Poland, uh, just next to the Russian border, they had mm -hmm. 31,000 NATO troops, you know, having nuclear exercise in Poland. It's, it's, uh, that is something what really steers up the, the problem. So, and... For sure, all nuclear countries, they modernize uh, their nuclear arms. But we know that after the Cold War, um, Russia was giving a strong signal that uh, they didn't want to go on with uh, nuclear arms and, and others and limited it down to 4% of what uh, NATO was doing. The top of NATO is the U.S. They really uh, expanded it. So... And that's why a lot of in the peace movement, they even ask for, you know, Germany has to leave NATO, not to be part of this whole thing. Um, yeah, thank you. Good point. Well, I think we'll wrap this up, but we really want to thank John. Maybe you'll hang around for a little bit.
Yeah, the Nuke Watch uh, website is nukewatchinfo.org. We have a Facebook page as well. Thank you very much.